We are the Elson family, Joe, Tegan and three-year-old Oliver. 12 months ago, we packed up our apartment and sold our possessions to travel full-time. Join our family for our travels and adventures across the world. We're going to stop at Nuria Elia to find out why its nickname is Little England. It's around a 30-minute drive from Nanya Oye Station and we plan to explore the town and visit a tea plantation. Hi Trey, you've been wonderful to us. So we have arrived to Nano Oya Station. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're going past. It's actually a five kilometer horse track. It's like horse riding, lots of little horses around. Here we are, this is our home for the next three nights. Someone's been someone's been sitting still for ages. Wow. This looks very nice guys. This feels like we're in Little England here. We've got a five-star hotel. But what I haven't seen before, out the front, is a big carrot patch. You can smell the carrots. It's getting, just getting harvested now. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Nuria Elia is nicknamed the Little England of Sri Lanka because of its chilly climate and colonial style buildings. Here is the central market. Wow, we get a really nice steak. Some fish for dinner. Where to get your rice. Oh, coconut. I think it looks fresh, doesn't it? Finest sweets. Yum. Thank you. Thank you. 40 rupees. Yum. See what it tastes like. Good. Good. <laughs> this vibrant and bustling city is home to 780,000 people. There are markets set up on the side of the road where you can buy almost anything you need, and there's also food stores so you can grab a bite to eat. The main street is full of life with shops, jewelry stores and places to grab food. Pretty hungry, so we have found this little place here. Uh, they've sold us they have doses, so we are going to have lunch. It looks amazing. We have ordered masala dosa. <laughs> so we have coconut gravy and uh, that yeah. one is coconut chutney. Coconut chutney. How is it, Mum? Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. This is really, really, really good. Really good. So we have stopped at the little fruit market down here just to grab some fruit. Uh, really good. Uh, we just paid 1100 for two little things of strawberries. Um, and then 2000 for avocado, bananas, pineapple, apples, uh, lots and lots of food. So we have found, is this the entrance, Ollie? Yes! That door is open! Woohoo! We have found the entrance to Victoria Park. Oh, we got to pay to get in, so let's see how much it is. Uh, a foreign adult is 500. Uh, hello. He is three. Do we have to pay for him? No? Okay. So it's going to cost us a thousand to get in. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Our taxi driver told us today that do not bother with any of the botanical gardens because there is no flowers and it's not a good time and wait for the ones in candy. But uh, I don't know. I mean, these are, it's pretty spectacular. Ollie has spotted the train. He is very, very excited. So apparently the train is uh, not working, but they've gone to see if they can find someone to drive it. So who knows? We shall see. But there's more kids arriving for a train ride. It is now situation all go. So we've been told we had to get a ticket from up there. I've lined up there, then I've been told to just get on the train. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna give mum the money. Uh, Ollie is free and mum is 100. <laughs> Hello, 
We really enjoyed the botanical gardens. There was lots of beautiful flowers, the gardens were really well maintained, and Ollie loved the playground, especially the train. It was a really nice way to spend a few hours. Look how beautiful this is. If you like to walk and explore, not too far from the main city, you'll find tea plantations, villages, and Lover's Leap waterfall. As the climate is much cooler up here, it makes it the perfect place to wander around and take it all in. All of these beautiful spots we were able to walk to from our apartment. This was definitely our favourite part of Nurelia. It was just absolutely beautiful. So here we are, the Elson family adventure, missing a Tegan, missing a mummy. And we've got Grammy, and we got Oliver. Woo! Doesn't want to be on camera today. And we are at the Pedro T estate, which already is the the best tea in the world. It smells of tea as well. Beautiful. Yes. We'll uh, have a look around, try some tea. So there is people picking tea. Slippery snake. So we've um, wandered through tea estates and it's harvest day. So the women there are harvesting 18 kilograms each hard work in the sun all day. And for that they get 900 rupees, which is £2.50, five Australian dollars. Not a lot, not a lot. Mmm, you got some tea given to you, didn't you? Hello. Ah, oh, doggy friends. They look after you. Paul? 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 Which one's your favourite, Ollie? That big dog. The big dog, eh? Hey? What about the little doggy? Hi! We're going to go run in the flat bit. Okay, buddy. What are the advantages of ones here? Uh, tea plantations versus Malaysia. So you have a wander around and explore, and they're super relaxed. So you can wander through the um, through the tea plants. After you've finished wandering around the tea plantation, you can enjoy a delicious cup of tea overlooking the tea garden. There is also a free museum where you can learn more about all the different types of tea. And you can also end the day with a tour around the Pedro Tea Factory. This is going to be the end of our tour of Pedro Tea Estate. Hey, it's uh, to uh, burn a couple of hours in beautiful surroundings with a lovely cup of tea in little England, as you should. Here we are, why is tea good for you? Where there's tea, there's hope. And here's our ride. And now it's time for us to leave Nurelia and jump back on the train to Candy. Thank you for watching. Click and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos coming soon. Subscribe and subscribe.